This is question four. Here we're told that rail tickets and cheap trains are two websites selling train tickets. And it tells us that each of the websites add a, adds a credit card charge, which we're given, and a booking fee to the ticket price. So it then tells us that um, the ticket price is £60 on each website. So the initial cost for rail tickets is £60 and the initial cost for cheap trains is £60. And then they have differing, uh, different credit card charges and booking fees. Um, and we're asked which one will it be cheaper for Nadia to buy? Um, so will it be cheaper to buy from rail tickets or will it be cheaper to buy from cheap trains? Now the way that we're going to do this is we're going to work out what the percentage of 60 is for each of these. So I'm just going to do this at the side. I'm going to start by working out what 10% will be. And that, I can say, would be £6. And then from there, I can then work out what 1% would be by dividing 10% by 10, and that giving me 60p. Alternatively, I could have just taken £60 to work out my 1%. I could have just taken £60 and divided it by 100. So I know that 1% is 60p. I need 2.25% for rail tickets. And so what I'm then going to need to do is I can work out, so I can work out what 0.5% is going to be. 0.5% would just be half of 1%, which would be 30p. And then half of half, half a percent would be a quarter of a percent or 0.25 of a percent. And that would be 15p. Then what I can then do is I can just build up using these building blocks I've got over here. I can build up what the percentage is for rail tickets. So rail tickets is 2.25% of the £60. So to work this out, I'm just going to take 60p. So I'm going to take a 1% which is 60p. I'm going to take two of those for the 2% and a 0.25% uh, for the, the other 2.25%. So I can say that this is going to be 60p plus 60p plus 0.15. Uh, so 60p, 60p and 15p added together. So I can say that my 2.25% is going to be £1.20, uh, £1.35. Doing exactly the same thing for cheap trains. Work out the percentage first. So I've got 1.5%. That's a nice simple one. So 1.5%, I'm just going to add the 1% and the half a percent, the 0.5%, and that's going to be 90p. So I've worked out the percentage for each. It's £1.35 for rail tickets and it's 90p for cheap trains. But I then need to add on the booking fee. So the booking fee is going to be 80p for rail tickets. And so the total cost of the extra charges is going to be £1.35, the credit card charge, plus the booking fee of 80p. And so in total, what I can then say is that this is going to be £2.15. So the total of the extra charges of the credit card charge and the booking fee for rail tickets is going to be £2.15. For cheap trains, this is going to be the 90p, which is the 1.5% uh, of the ticket price, plus the booking fee, which is £1.90. So I'm going to have to add those together, the 90p the credit card charge plus the booking fee of £1.90 and that is going to give me an answer of £2.80. So our question is, will it be cheaper for Nadia to buy the train ticket from rail tickets or from cheap trains? Well, we can see here that the extra charges are smaller on rail tickets and so our answer is going to be rail tickets because the cost of a ticket there would be uh, the £60 plus the £2.15. So rail tickets is cheaper 
because it's the cost of a ticket would be £62.15 instead of £62.80. So we'd say, final answer, rail tickets is cheaper, um, and we would need to show that working. Uh, so final answer, rail tickets is cheaper.